Gilbert the Good Hearted Jackal Special Delivery by Alex Foster. On the farm of Masai Mara, Kenya, Ryan teared the paper off of a magazine and he walked outside. Mom, look, he said to his mother. I'm gonna buy my very own rubber ducky from my rubber ducky collection. Okay, dear, I'll buy your toy duck, said his mother. She and Ryan went inside the house. She wrote about the yellow rubber ducky. She also got a stamp in an envelope. When she was done writing, she also put the address, stamp it, and licked the envelope. So they went inside of the post office and they met the East African Crown Cream with a mailman. Ryan's mother gave the mailman an envelope. Now son, she said, the mailman said your dog toy will be there in four months. Okay mom, thanks, Ryan replied happily. All I have to do is go home and wait. And they walked the way home. While outside of a front porch, Ryan's girlfriend, Cleo, came for a visit with her suitcase. Hi, Ryan. What are you doing outside? She asked. I'm waiting for my toy duck, replied Ryan. Oh, Cleo said. Can I spend one night? I asked my mom about I'm going to spend a night with you. Sure, you can sleep in my bed, answered Ryan as they entered the house. Why are you love rubber duckies? Cleo asked. Ryan answered, Before I met you, I was born in Doldama, Tanzania. I liked to play those toy rubber duckies. I was just a baby in 1990. Cleo giggled. Boy, Ryan, you are cute about those bird toys. Is that what you're right for your toy ducky? Yep, Ryan replied. Let's go to my room. Inside Ryan's bedroom, Ryan wear number one nice shirt and orange pants. Cleo also wear her green shirt. I like your pretty clothes, she said dreamily. Thanks, Ryan smirked. I also like your green shirt too. Thank you, giggled Cleo. Waiting was good. I love you. I love you too, Ryan replied. Good night. They climbed up the bed and they were asleep. The next morning, Ryan and Cleo get stressed and they're going outside waiting for Ryan's toy duck. But the angel mayor of Glickenglock and Mayor Angel saw two children were waiting outside. What are you two doing out there? she asked. Well, we're waiting, ma'am, replied Cleo. For what? asked Mary and Joel. I don't know, ask Ryan, Cleo said. Ryan walked towards Mary and Joel. We're waiting for my rubber ducky, he explained. Oh, I thought you two waiting for Santa Claus, Mary and Joel said. No, we're not waiting for Santa, snapped Cleo. Just then, the mailman walked up to Jackson's residence. He handed the envelope to Ryan. Mr. Mailman, may I please have a rubber ducky? asked Ryan. Are you crazy, young man, said the mailman. You and your mother are mailed it for yesterday. And he just walked away. Mary Angel looked at the paper. Young boy, don't worry. Your toy will be there for months, said Mary Angel. She began to walk away to Glick and Glocken. Poor Ryan began to cry. Ryan, what's wrong? Cleo asked. Ryan sobbed. Oh, no, 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 never get my tut tut toy dog. I'm so sorry, Cleo. Oh, Ryan, whispered Cleo. The angel girl said your toy will be there for months. Come here. She comforts Ryan by hugging to make him feel better. Now you okay? she asked. Ryan felt better. I guess so, he said softly. It's okay, your toy will be there for months, alright? Don't cry, Cleo said. Okay, Clee, I better now, replied Ryan sadly. I gotta go. My mother was worried about me, said Cleo. I'll see you at Monday in school. Bye, Cleo. See you then, Ryan said as Cleo ran out with her suitcase. 
Month 1. Ryan and Cleo are having fun for Easter egg hunt. Month 2. They also swimming in Jackson's family pool. Month 3. They were having trick-or-treating on Halloween with Gilbert Jr. and the pup. Month 4. They also having opening presents during Christmas. Then one day, the mailman approached and said, Here's your rubber ducky, young lad. Yahoo! Cheered Ryan. I knew my duck has come. I told you it would come in for months, Cleo added. Don't you feel better, cutie Ryan? asked Cleo. Yeah, Ryan answered. Thanks for cheering me. Glad to, replied Cleo. What are you waiting for? Open it! Okay, Clee, said Ryan. Ryan carefully opened the box and he really saw a... Yo, a rubber ducky! Here it is, Cleo! He cried. My very own rubber ducky! That's wonderful, right? Agreed, Cleo. Aren't you gonna put it for your collection? Nah, answered Ryan. I'm gonna keep it to the bathtub. Wanna come? Sure, Cleo said as they entered the house again. Ryan and Cleo entered the bathroom, turned the water on and off, and again in the water. The bathtub is fine, Ryan, Cleo said. Yep, it sure was, Cleo, Ryan replied, splashing with his toy duck. The 